नमस्ते आप सभी का हाल मैं हूं सीए संकल्प कांस्य एंड आई वेलकम ईच वन ऑफ यू इन दिस अमेजिंग सेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेटजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आर यू रेडी टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू एज यूजुअल और लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गाइस सो टू लेक्चर्स ओवर थिंग्स ऑन ट्रैक द वेवलेंथ इज मैचिंग प्रीटी मच डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ फ्यू ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल टर्म्स इन्फ्लेशन इंटरेस्ट रेट लिक्विडिटी हाउ द बॉन्ड डॉलर प्राइजेस मूव गोल्ड प्राइजेस मूव ऑल ऑफ दैट इन आर हेड राइट द जपनीज इकोनॉमी हाउ इट वेंट थ्रू अ स्टैग्नेशन फेज द जिम्बाबे इकोनॉमी हाउ इट वेंट थ्रू हाइपर इन्फ्लेशन फेज येस्टरडे वी अंडरस्टूड दी प्रॉब्लम द लास्ट लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड दी एडवेंट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड इन द होल वर्ल्ड 1774 is when it all started 1924 is when it was revived and till now huge sums of money is already been invested in mutual funds as well and that is where this chapter becomes if so very important because india has a enormous potential to grow the whole mutual fund industry and if that industry grows trust me we as chartered accountants will always be in demand because a lot of stuffs that these mutual fund companies do are connected to all of us right so the first two lectures uh, i understand that there was a lot of theory there was a lot of uh, concept building that was going on so it was heavy but you cooperated and understood in the right perspective so today i thought we'll keep it a little light we'll do a lot of sums right and major focus will be on the sum solving aspect right guys so on that note first as decided earlier also we will quickly revise we will quickly revise what we did in the last lecture and then we will take it over from here all right guys so what did we do in the last lecture we started with understanding of the mutual fund so can you please tell me what exactly is a mutual fund can you tell me what exactly is a mutual fund so basically your mutual fund is a system or a scheme where in where in collective like minded people so where in yeah pooling of money is done by the like minded people so pooling of money is done by like minded people right having an objective having a similar objectives right so having similar objectives wherein a uh, asset manage yes unity strength was the keyword right unity is right guys so having similar objectives erin wherein we appoint wherein we appoint or rather the mutual fund trust appoints a professional a professional portfolio manager a professional portfolio manager is appointed who manages funds for us and generates return in in response to a fee that is given to him so we appoint we appoint a portfolio professional portfolio manager what does the portfolio manager do he invests our funds invests our funds and in return what do we what do we get returns from the fund returns from the funds and what does he get a certain amount of fee is paid to him so that is what our understanding of mutual fund is correct so uh, pool funds to invest in market in order to overcome limitations of time and expertise so yes those were the two catch words that unfortunately we don't have we do not have time we do not have that level of professional knowledge to understand the market thoroughly so both of that were missing and that is what led to the whole concept of mutual fund now broadly 
two type of mutual funds exist one is called as a closed ended mutual fund and other is called as a open ended mutual fund can you please tell me guys what is a closed ended and what is a open ended mutual fund tell me everybody what is a closed ended and what is a open ended mutual fund yes yes everyone please give it a try you remember it right so closed ended mutual fund is what when ketej started wherein he issued limited number of units correct no free trading okay you can use that word limited entry and exit yes you can uh, use that word only investment can be done during the new fund offer after that if you want then in that case you will have to buy it from the market from the stock market itself that is what close ended is characterized by so if i have to write here so i'll say first thing is limited number of units limited number of units and when is it issued issued at the time of issued at the time of nfo new fund offer if in future any more yeah if in future we need any more uh units then in that case we have to purchase it from the stock market so if an investor if an investor wants to buy or sell i think right it is buy or sell further units if the investor wants to buy or sell further units then what he has to do then he has to go to the stock exchange because now the fund house is saying please do not come to us then he can do it through stock exchange now because he has to do it through stock exchange because he has to do it through stock exchange what will happen is yes basically secondary market you will have to go what will happen is the pricing will be based on demand and supply and not net asset value so the pricing in case of pricing of close ended fund will be based on yes will be based on stock market price so it will be based on stock market price and stock market price is based on what it is based on demand and supply it is based on demand and supply so can i say these are the main uh, points of consideration that we have and on the other side we have open ended funds wherein unlimited unlimited number of units are issued unlimited number of units can be issued how is that possible because if any new units are to be issued or if any units is to be redeemed then in that case you have to directly visit the mutual fund house so if a investor wants to buy or sell if a investor wants to buy or sell this can be done directly through the mutual fund amc through the mutual fund asset management company right here the pricing is based on nav pricing is always equal to the net asset value as on that date as on that date so whatever net prof net asset value is prevailing will be the price at which units will be bought and sold bought and sold guys can i say this primarily uh distinguishes or defines what exactly your close ended and your open ended fund means right guys any other point which you would want to add or this almost says it all done great 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 so this was about it and the last thing liquidity uh so uh, liquidity here in case of close ended fund is restricted high restricted because in close ended fund uh if there is a buyer or a seller available in the market 
for our particular mutual fund unit only then we'll be able to continue with the purchase and sale but as regards open ended is concerned it is highly liquid whenever you need money go to the fund house and they will give you all that you want ah i know uh, what is amc because i'm not at taught you all amc but i've used the word i'll still be telling you all but amc full form is asset management company you would have heard the word kotak amc hdfc amc icic amc so don't worry we have to do it in theory asset management company all right guys chal so this kind of sums up what we did yesterday in terms of understanding what is closed ended open ended fund okay then we went on to understand the concept of nav tell me what is nav the full form is net asset value i know that tell me what exactly it is what exactly it is so can i say nav basically means net asset value basically means market value market value of investments any investment that we have done any investment that we have done we have to take the market value as of date plus we may receive the mutual fund amc may receive some dividend so that is also added anything that is received will be added here any other interest income is there that will be added any other income or receivables any other income slash receivables all right guys so all of this will become your net asset value less what are we going to deduct what are we going to deduct correct we will be deducting accrued expenses payables if any so all of that is deducted okay guys this all basically will be your net asset value but we needed per unit this is total net asset value we needed per unit so what do we divided by so accrued expenses payables outstanding expenses everything okay now this becomes your total net asset value we divided by outstanding number of units outstanding number of units so can i say if even 6 months down the line even you without doing any uh yeah even without you doing any kind of revision still if somebody wakes you up from the sleep 6 months after now and somebody asks you what is a open ended fund what is a closed ended fund what is a net asset value will you be able to tell them will you are you in a position to tell them yes everybody perfect this is what we want and always remember whenever we are calculative nav it will be based on four decimals and when we are calculating number of units it will be two decimals it will be two decimals okay guys done Are we clear with the whole recap? Yes. Sure. All clear. Oh, see again. Ah, uh, all clear. Whenever you say, I am assuming that even. Six months down the line, somebody wakes you up from the sleep and asks you, "Hey, much I want to understand what is closed-ended fund," and you should be in a position to explain them with perfect clarity. Done? Sure. That's where we say yes, sir. We are clear. Sure. Okay. So now, on that note, let's start with some question and answers as promised today. but first we are going to solve today a very very simple sum a very very simple sum is what we are going to solve today okay so let's start with that and that is question number 3 easiest sum i'll just read i'll just read 
calculate the mutual central or mutual fund as the following assets in scheme rudolf nairobi limited number of shares market price dakar limited market price single limited market price cairo limited market price the total number of scheme of rudolf are total number of units are outstanding are 10 lakhs and the accrued expenses are 2 lakh 50 thousand other liabilities 2 lakh you have to calculate the nav per unit of scheme rudolf all right guys so can i give you all two minutes and i can expect you all to solve it or do you want me to solve even this level question so thank you so much yes sir we will solve it i give you all two minutes your time starts now please solve it properly let the game begin come on Okay, guys, so easy peasy question done and dusted. This question was just to give a boost to your confidence. So don't get over excited by solving this question. Yes, the next questions that we are going to solve are going to be very important and they will definitely define how well we've understood the whole concept. Now, before I start with my next question, now before we start with the next question, uh, I have some discussions to be made with each one of you. Shall I start, guys? Shall I start? Okay. Sure. So, guys, please check. Some are saying audio is not visible. Some are saying video is not visible. Some are saying both are visible. Please confirm. I think both are there because majority of people are saying that yes, both are there. If there is a buffering issue, then it is not from my end. Then your internet is slow. If you are not able to listen anything, then it is not my end. It is your issue. Everything fine. Okay, cool. Sure. So, because my internet is running fast like a Ferrari. Chalo, cool. So now here we are with our own example and uh, let's start. No issues as of now. Cool. So uh, always remember one thing. Whenever you are solving a question, a mutual fund question, you have to think from either of the two angles. Whenever any mutual fund sum is given, you have to think from either of the two angles. 
either you will have to become the cio of the mutual fund do you know what is a cio a do you know what is the cio cio is the chief investment officer a chief chief investment officer and the other is as a investor all sums all sums 40 50 any number of sums you do there is only going to be two scenario either you will have to step into the shoes of a cio what is a cio the mutual fund head is basically called as a CIO. The mutual fund heads, like the companies have CEO, mutual fund heads are called as CIOs. So, Chief Investment Officer and Investor is obviously the person who is investing in the units, right? Cool. <clears throat> So, these are the two people through whom you have to think. Now, of one company, my own, there, do you know there is my own mutual fund company? In fact, I have a suggestion. Let us start our own mutual fund company, you know. What say? We will pool the money and we will charge 2 to 3% asset management cost. We will try to pool good amount of money and then become rich. What say? As if any which case, see now we are gaining so much of knowledge. Any which case, we are also now going to be interested in investment and all of these stuffs. Let's take people's money and start investing and start earning here. Yeah? And let people also earn. Think about it. Think about it. I am very serious for it. Let's see now how serious you are. Chalo. So now, uh, there is one mutual fund which I already own. And that basically called as SK Mutual Fund. That basically is called as SK Mutual Fund. Now, SK Mutual Fund, resolution for New Year. Awesome, Sai Puja. Let's do it here. So, the uh, SK Mutual Fund has a Chief Investment Officer. It is the duty of the chief investment officer. It is the duty of the chief investment officer to calculate NAV to calculate NAV on a daily basis and report it to the SEBI. Do you know that NAV is calculated every day? Did we discuss that in the last lecture? NAV has to be reported on a daily basis to SEBI. Every day 3.30 p.m. you have to calculate the NAV and report it to the SEBI. Yes? Okay. So, it is the duty of the chief investment officer to calculate NAV daily and report it to the SEBI. And report it to SEBI. Okay. Sure. Done? So, now what happened is this. On 4th August, say let's assume that today is 4th August. On 4th August, my company CIO reported the NAV at the rate rupees 15 per unit when day end of 4th August day end of 4th August okay no problem very good and on and on 5th of August I got a call from the CIO that he is not going to come today OMG as such, my CIO is very regular in his work. But on 5th of de December, he said, Sir, I am not feeling well. And generally, I am not able to uh, come to work. But can I call Sebi and tell this? That Sebi, Sebi, today my CIO has not come. So, I will not report the NAV today. <laughs> will Sebi accept this or not? Definitely, it is not going to accept it. It is like, okay, your CIO is not coming. Let him to stay at home forever and you also close down your SK mutual fund, you are not fit to run a mutual fund company. I'm like, no, 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 the SEBI should not say this. So now, so now what is happening is 5th August, my CIO has not come, but I will have to report the NAV as usual on a daily basis. I have to report the NAV. So I give a call to my chartered accountant friends. Yes, yes, that's you. The person in front of me on the screen is the person I will call. I will call you who are my CA fellow friends, who are my CA fellow friends. And I will ask them, yeah, can you please help me in calculating the NAV 
my CIO has not come and I have I have heard that you have learned SFM mutual funds from Sankal sir. So will you please uh, calculate the NAV for me? So you're like, oh yes, why not? <laughs> oh, you will be able to calculate like that. You just send me all the details. You just send me all the details and we'll calculate and give it to you. And then you can report it to the uh, uh, SEBI. And you're like, oh wow. So that is really good. So now you get a call from SK Mutual. Okay, Baba, I'll give you. I'll give you money for this calculation. Oh, send me your Paytm number. Hey, accountant, please transfer 11 rupees to this person's account, man. Paytm, please, please do that. He'll calculate the NAV and send it to me. So I will now call you. And you have told that, okay, no problem. On 5th of August, 3.30 p.m. On 5th of August, 3.30 p.m. We will calculate the NAV to you so that you can report it to the SEBI. But for calculating the NAV, do you need some details? Do you need some details? Okay. So I am now giving you certain details. Use those things for calculating the NAV. Will you do that for me? Sure. Let's start now. So here I begin. So I told tell you that see today is 5th of August. But uh, the first thing that you ask me is Acha, today's NAV I will report 5th August 3.30 p.m. We will report the NAV. Don't worry for that. But yesterday's NAV have you reported? I told yes, yes. We have reported yesterday's NAV. So yesterday's NAV was uh, 15 per unit. And yesterday's outstanding units were 20 lakh units. Yesterday's outstanding units were 20 lakh units. When we reported to the uh, SEBI, the units were 20 lakh units. You're like, okay, no problem. That's fine. Yes. Then other things I started discussing with you so that you could calculate the NAV. Then I told you that today on 5th of August, there was Mr. A who came to me and Mr. A purchased 2 lakh units. Mr. A purchased 2 lakh units from SK Mutual Fund. From SK Mutual Fund. So 2 lakh units were purchased. Okay. Then he also, then I also tell you that then Mr. Z had also come. Mr. A had come at 11 a.m. And Mr. Z had also come at around uh, 11.45 a.m. And Mr. A redeemed or what you call as sold sold 80,000 units see sold 80,000 units like okay no problems any other thing then you tell that yes see whatever investment that we had done whatever investment that we had done see from this whole money that we have we had done few investment in shares we had done some investment in gold all of these investment we had done and of this portfolio, there was a portfolio appreciation. There was a portfolio appreciation, only portfolio appreciation of rupees 4 lakhs. There was a portfolio appreciation of rupees 4 lakhs. Just a moment. Yeah, there was a portfolio appreciation in shares. There was some appreciation in gold. There was some appreciation. There were so many shares that we hold. So little, little, little appreciation was there everywhere. And overall, the portfolio appreciation was rupees 4 lakh. Overall, the portfolio appreciation was rupees 4 lakh. You're like, okay, no problem. Any other thing that you want to discuss? Yes, yes, sir. Sir, we also received... On one of our shares, we also received a dividend. We also, who we, SK Mutual Fund, uh, SK Mutual Fund also received some dividend to the tune of rupees 3 lakhs. We also received a dividend to the tune of rupees 3 lakh. So like, oh, very good. That's really nice. That's really nice. So, this is all the information that I have with, to give you. Then you ask me on the call itself that, sir, think again. There were any expenses were there or not? I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A few expenses were also done. Expenses of rupees 1,50,000 were done. Expenses of rupees 1,50,000 were done. Ah, to sir, tell that also, no? Yeah, yeah. I just forgot, but I realized that expenses of rupees 1,50,000 were done. 
on SK Mutual Fund for 5th of August. So this is all the information that you have. Can you please help me? I'm on call. Oh, my accountant is saying 11 rupees has been credited in your Paytm account. Now please come to your account and please calculate the NAV for me. Oh my God, it is already 7.30, uh, 3.35. So that watch is at 3.35. Sebi will call me anytime. Please quickly calculate the NAV and give it to me. Please, I'm waiting. Will you be able to do that? Let the game begin. Try it out. Try it out. Are you guys there? Are you guys there? I say you want more money. In 11 rupees you will not do. 15 rupees. <laughs> Chalo guys. Please come on. Everybody I am waiting for your answers. Think and tell what will be the nav based on the information here on 5th of August. It's already 3.35. Please better be quick. I may get a call from Sebi anytime now. Please. Chalo, chalo, let's see the answers. So, SD Siddharth has given the answer as 14.4103. B. Bala Mahar Makrish has given the answer 14.4104. One point here and there is absolutely acceptable. Padmavati is getting the same answer. Dina, Chetan, HR, others. Everybody is getting the correct answer. Alright guys, so now will you please help me to calculate this? Will you please help me to calculate how did you do this? Please help me. So, so what you would have done? Let me have a guess or let's see what you would have done. So, you have to calculate today's nav. You have to calculate today's nav. Okay. Now, how does it all start? 
for us the formula for nav is what market value of investments market value of investments but has the sir given has sir given market value of investment anywhere the answer is no so you may say 4 lakh but that is not a market value of investment that is just today's appreciation that is just today's appreciation no are you understanding guys so where is the market value of investment given can i say last can i say last days or yesterdays nav is given yesterdays outstanding units is given so can i say we will get yesterdays net market value and current dates whatever inflow and explo expenses have been incurred we will just add and less that and we will get our whole year today's net asset value are we understanding guys yes or no bolo bolo chal chal correct 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 to chal let's start with that so we will say that for calculating nav ideally we write market value of investments but here since yesterday's nav is given and number of units outstanding yesterday is given we will say that we will say that yesterday's net asset value or market value for us is known to us and that is a uh, 15 per unit multiply by 20 lakh units and this will be working out to how much bolo bolo tell tell 20 lakh into 15 Oh, oh, it is three hundred lakhs, which is rupees three crores. Anybody uh, having any other answer other than fourteen point four one zero four? Anybody having other than this? Any other answer? Let me know. Hmm. Because, because you may be wrong. Anybody? I am asking for the last two minutes. Anybody having some other answer other than this? A fourteen point one zero four one zero four is what? people have given me the answer now i'll try to confuse you a little is anybody having any other answer or everybody feels no this is the correct answer only darshan solanki has 13.3991 okay very good or very bad that we'll see okay others anybody else then don't say ha oh, we thought this we thought that chal so let's start now enough time given to you so yesterday's nav is there which is 300 lakhs or what you call as 3 crores acha now dina is saying sir first i got the answer 15.275 then why did you change looking at others this is such a wrong policy no dina you are just following the crowd why do you want to do that now mega lakshmi is saying i got the answer 15.2594 parmi patel is saying i got 15.2594 अरे तो वेर वाई यू गाइज यू आर स्लीपिंग अवॉर्ड साई पूजा इज ऑल्सो नाउ सिंग आई गॉट फिफ्टीन पॉइंट टू फाइव नाइन फोर सो टिल नाउ वाई डिट यू आंसर वाई वाई यू वेटिंग फॉर मी टू से दिस टू यू दैट अदर्स इफ यू गॉट सम अदर आंसर प्लीज टेल मी दिस इज नॉट डन यार दिस इज दिस इज नॉट डन यार से नो वॉट एवर इट इज हू इज गोइंग टू जज यू फॉर योर आंसर यू आर जस्ट एट अ लर्निंग फेज नो इफ यू न्यू एवरीथिंग यू डेंट हैव कम यूर This is not how two-way communication is that we decided on the first day. Okay, so please, please be fair. Whatever it is, please got now. Now, Terala is saying I also got fifteen point two five nine four. Wow, 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 wow! This is too much, yeah. <laughs> Chal, no problems. I'll give the benefit of doubt since it is the first time. But next time, whatever it is, please share it, guys. Now, suppose if I would have got some other answer. Suppose now after solving, I would have got fifteen point two five nine four, and then you would have said, "So I also got the same." Then would have I believed you? Obviously not. So let that not happen. Also, one more thing. Suppose if you are a Google Drive student, also you also ensure that you are pausing the video, you are also solving it before I solve it. That will be the best strategy to follow. All right, guys. Sure. So let's do it. So three hundred lakhs plus 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 plus. plus okay then what information was given to us let's see then the information that was given to us was mr a has purchased 2 lakh units from us 
what will happen to the mutual fund sk mutual fund what will he get if somebody has come you are the cio boss for today you are the cio so i am the fund manager i am the fund manager somebody has come to me and he says that i want to purchase 2 lakh units obviously it's an open ended fund that's the reason he has come to me so i will issue him 2 lakh units in return i will tell him please pay me nap today's nap now if he has come at 11 am so today's nap comes at 3:30 pm so we will have to take yesterday's nap which was 15 so can i say i will get cash i will get cash should cash also be a part of net asset value obviously anything that comes in the fund will be a part of net asset value if it goes it will be a part of net asset value are we understanding guys so what have i received now so i will say units issued you have to think from the cio point of view boss you are the cio for the cio fund manager i am the fund manager cio means i am the fund manager so for the fund manager fund has come in how much 2 lakh units at the rate 15 per unit so 2 lakh into 15 and 30 lakh rupees is what i have got Hmm. Can I say cash? This is nothing but cash. So I have received cash. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue. Then redeem. What will happen for this? Mr. F A Z came to me. I'm the fund manager. Mr. Z came to me at 11:45, and he redeemed or sold 80,000 units. What will happen to this? Can I say if units were issued, cash was received? When units are redeemed, cash is. paid so there is a outflow there is a outflow so i will write here less units redeemed and when i am redeeming my value will decrease cash going out how much 80000 units at the rate 15 per unit somebody has written here cash will go out sir of rupees 12 lakh somebody please confirm got it got it everybody Yes, sir, got it. Okay, then, 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 what happens? There is a portfolio appreciation. What will happen to this? Add or less? Obvio, we will add it. Obvio, we will add it. So we will add here. Add portfolio appreciation rupees four lakh. Correct. Then. Then, 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 dividend received. Dividend received is also to be added. How much? Three lakh. Got it? Okay. Then, then, any other expenses? Any other expenses? Oh, one lakh fifty thousand. What will happen to the one lakh fifty thousand? Reduce. So any expenses has to be reduced from our funds. So one lakh fifty thousand is reduced. We will get the total nav. We will get the total net asset value. Please do the mathematics and tell me. Come on, guys. Please do the mathematics and tell me, guys. Come on, everybody. Three hundred lakhs. Plus thirty lakhs, minus twelve lakhs, plus four lakh, plus three lakh, minus one lakh fifty thousand, and what I will get is three crore twenty three lakh fifty thousand. Yes, everybody, three crore twenty three lakh fifty thousand. Everybody, yes. Divide by Correct. Divide by outstanding number of units. Outstanding number of units. Acha. How many outstanding number of units are there? Bolo bolo. Tell tell. Can I say that there were in all twenty lakh units? There were in all twenty lakh units. Of which, of which. New units were issued, so the number of units increased. Am I right? 
न्यू यूनिट्स वर इशूड सो द नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स इंक्रीज एम आई राइट ओके सर हाउ मेनी सर टू लैक यूनिट्स and few units were redeemed so can i say 80000 units were redeemed so 20 lakh plus 2 lakh less 80000 21 lakh 20000 units 21 lakh 20000 units and this will finally give us the net asset value per unit which is working out to how much let me check out 3235000 divide by 2120000 and this works out to rupees 15.2594 see this is the correct answer and previously everybody was giving what 14 point something and all of that oh gosh I wouldn't have believed you guys. Trust me, and I would have felt really bad that none of you were able to solve this on your own. I would have felt bad not because you couldn't, we were not able to solve it, but my eleven rupees would have gone in vain. No. Ah. First, I got this. No, Dina. Now I will not believe you. Sorry. Why didn't you answer? Why did you follow the crowd? One person gave fourteen point four nine four, and everybody started saying that. So no problem. This is a learning for the next time. And I felt that how is it possible that nobody is able to get the correct answer here? So I felt something was missing, and then I told you, good. I discussed that. Sai Pooja Nakka. What? Mega Lakshmi, Lakshmi, Parmi Patel. So yar. चलो दर्शन सोलंकी भाई वेर वे यू रॉन्ग आई थिंक यू आल्सो गेव द करेक्ट आंसर चलो अदर्स चेतन वेर वे यू रॉन्ग ब्रदर पद्मावती मच्छी राजू इज आल्सो सेइंग सर आई आल्सो गॉट 14.904 पॉइंट नाइन जीरो फोर वेन चेतन एट सेट वाह 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 ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज आर नाउ कॉट रेड हैंडेड चलो एनीवेज नाउ माय क्वेश्चन इज आर यू क्लियर गाइस आर यू गाइस नाउ क्लियर चल ओके नाउ फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेट मी प्लीज कंफर्म विद ईच वन ऑफ यू आर वी ऑल क्लियर यस सो नाउ कैन आई से बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन Based on this example, we have derived a new formula for NAV, right? So if 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 NAV is to be calculated on daily basis, if NAV is to be calculated on daily basis on daily basis, how will it be calculated? How will NAV be calculated? How will NAV be calculated? Can I say we will first take yesterday's NAV into number of units outstanding? Correct. So we will write here yesterday's NAV multiply by number of units outstanding. We'll get the market value as of yesterday. Then today, what all has happened? today we have received the dividend today there will be some portfolio appreciation so can i say by this example we have derived a new formula for nav and we will also write it somewhere in our student notes also so that it will be helpful correct guys okay then 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 money received now the most important thing is money received and money paid dividend received income receivable to any which case we know income receivable to we know so what new things have been added here this new portfolio appreciation new money received and money paid that will also be added and reduced right so add money received on
issue of units when you issue units you receive money less money paid on redemption of units you understand the word redemption redemption of debentures you would have studied in inter redemption means you can say sale kind of a thing right are we clear so three new things have been added in the nav formula guys please take it very seriously less any other expenses which was any which case there in last working also and this will give us total nav this will give us total net asset value this is now divided by outstanding number of units but this outstanding number of units this outstanding number of units will also have few calculations like yesterday's number of units yesterday's number of units plus plus units issued i'll show everything i'll show everything don't worry first let me complete the whole thing plus units issued less units sold or what you can say units redeemed you have to think from the angle of the fund manager from the fund sk fund fund manager you have to see from that angle and that's how you will get the answer are we now totally clear uh, i am asking you guys are we now totally clear if yes if yes hold hold on for a second i know you want to write this i know you are super duper excited to write this sir we want to write this I i'll give you the time but 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 before that before that let me take you to question number 2 let me take you to question number 2 everybody with me come to question number 2 just for a moment come to question number 2 see here calculate today's nav of flexi fund if the following details are given what is flexi fund flexi fund as such means uh, for a mutual fund wherein yeah flexi fund basically means a mutual fund wherein uh, investment is done in equity debt everything we will be understanding it later on for now let's focus on the calculation part see here yesterday's nav 12.87 per unit is given yesterday's nav 12.87 per unit is given total number of outstanding units yesterday was 1.25 crores face value 10 expenses rupees 1 lakh assume sale and repurchase nav is at 12.87 okay uh, so obviously at today's nav value whatever we are going to purchase and sale redeem all of that happens here only expenses rupees 1 lakh okay appreciation of portfolio today 12 lakhs units fresh subscription 2 lakhs fresh subscription 2 lakhs means can i say new people have purchased our units new people have purchased our units units redemption few people have sold their units to us few people have sold the units to us and dividend received 1 lakh what is going in my head now are you able to read it what ha huh. will you be able to solve this sum as well yes everybody you have the formula yesterday's nav per unit into total number of outstanding units yesterday today how much money we have received on issue of units money paid will be reduced on redemption of units are we clear guys appreciation of portfolio is added dividend is added right all of that will be used to calculate the nav divide by outstanding number of units what is outstanding number of units yesterday's number of units plus units issued today less units redeemed okay will you be able to solve it done are you clear with the example yes 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 are you clear with the formula that we have derived now see there are so many formulas that we are going to derive this is a formula where we have derived it we first solve the question we first solve the example then based on that we derive that's the approach we need to follow and once this was done now we are a question which is on similar lines 
which is on similar lines and we have to solve this now okay guys sure now i can say all any questions you have guys can i say it all yours can i say it all yours sure please you write the example first then you solve the sum whatever you want to do you do it but stop
yes guys done did you understand question 2 were you able to solve it and i can see from the live messages that everybody has solved it and everybody has got the correct answer really happy for you acha will this be a part of your student notes yes we have understood a new formula so definitely it should be a part of our reference notes chalo write down i'll just solve it for people who not got it there would be some who wouldn't have understood it let's solve it for them calculate today's nav if the following details are given yesterday's nav total number of units outstanding expenses appreciation new units redemption dividends received so chalo let's write it down so nav is equal to now we have a new formula yesterday's yesterday's nav per unit multiply by number of units okay how many are there 1.25 crores into yesterday's nav 12.87 so 1 crore 25 lakh units at the rate Twelve point eight seven. So, ye this will become sixteen crore eight lakh seventy five thousand. plus incoming money cash coming in so money received why because issue units how much money received 2 lakh fresh subscription at the rate fresh subscription will be at 12.87 yesterday's nav because today's nav will be calculated at the end of the day so 12.87 into 2 lakhs less money paid why because of redemption of units so how much redemption has happened it is 75 0.75 lakh like, so basically 75000 units same at the rate 12.87 so both amounts we have to write here Two lakh so this will be twenty five lakh seventy four thousand seventy five thousand into twelve point eight seven nine sixty five two fifty this will be reduced okay, anything else portfolio appreciation has happened how much 12 lakhs then dividend received 1 lakh so that is also added anything else expenses are there uh yes expenses will be 1 lakh expenses 1 lakh this will give you total net asset value and this will be how much 160875000 
12 lakh plus 1 lakh minus 1 lakh will be netted off. So 16 crore 36 lakh 83,750. This will be divided by the outstanding number of units, which is 1 crore 25 lakh. Plus fresh subscription were 2 lakhs. So plus 2 lakhs less 75,000. So 1 crore 25 lakh plus 2 lakh minus 75,000 and outstanding units will be 1 crore 26 lakh 25,000. We will get a NAV per unit equal to, tell me, twelve point nine six five. Absolutely correct. Done, done, and done. I hope everybody is clear with this question. Done. Chal. Done. So we are clear with the example. We are clear with the formulas. We are clear with the connected sum. People are asking for the break. I don't think so. So early you need a break. Others, hmm. you need a break so early, starving, oh my god. No. First, I will explain you a concept. Only then I will give you the break. I know you need a break. But first, I will explain you a concept. Then I will give you a break. Okay? Yes? Chalo. So, I will start now. So, next. Before we move on to the new sum, I have a concept to discuss. Shall I start? Okay. So now, so far, we have done a sum on open-ended uh, mutual funds. Question number one, based on open-ended. Question number two, open-ended. Question number three was open-ended. What if a question is on closed-ended? Can that happen? Yes. Even though 90% funds today are open-ended, there are still 5 to 10% which are closed-ended, right? Right. Okay. So... So, suppose if SK mutual funds comes up with a closed-ended fund, comes up with a closed-ended fund, okay, and, 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 the SK mutual fund came, the NFO, NFO date was, NFO date was 1st of May to 10th of May. 1st of May to 10th of May. Yeah, NFO is like a IPO. NFO is IPO for mutual funds. What IPO, initial public offer, is for equity shares? Is NFO for mutual funds? Absolutely, yes. So now, so now pay attention. This is the date when SK mutual fund came up with a closed-ended fund. Obviously, the students who are attending the lecture also wanted to invest in this but 1st to 10th May will they be able to invest in this fund? The answer is no. These guys are even busier than the Prime Minister of the country at that point in time when the NFO was launched. 
right am i right yes so there is no possibility that between 1st to 10th these guys are going to invest so they the date has gone but they wanted to invest now they got free these people who wanted to invest got free on 15th of may on 15th of may and now they have say rupees 1 lakh with them which they want to invest in skm mutual fund closed ended fund now what will they do it's a closed ended fund if it was open ended fund they would have gone to sk fund house told that okay take 1 lakh rupees give me the units but that is not possible now in closed ended fund you cannot go to the mutual fund house so now what will we do can i say now we will purchase in the market now we'll have to purchase there is a scope but we'll have to go to the market to purchase it now what happens in the market is this pay attention okay so they got free on 15th of may and they went to the stock market they went to the stock market to purchase sk mutual fund they saw that on the 15th of May, see, the NAV publication compliance remains at is, as it is. So, even if it is a closed-ended fund, SEBI tells every mutual fund has to publish the NAV as of closing day. So, NAV published is rupees 15 per unit. 15 per unit. But when they went to purchase this in the stock market, the price in the stock market, the price in the, the market price in stock market is rupees 18 per unit. Tell me, is this possible? Is this possible that NAV is 15? But the market price in stock market to purchase this SK mutual fund is 18 is that possible the answer is yes because the price in stock market is based on demand and supply now after 15th of may all ca students have gone to purchase this so the demand has increased and hence the price even the nav is 15 are we understanding this is possible only in a closed ended fund market can i say this fund is selling in the market at premium with your permission can I say this fund is selling in the market at premium? Everybody, yes. At premium, yes, everybody, yes. Now I know where your minds are running. I know where your minds are running. Sir, can there be a vice versa possibility? Obviously, obviously, anything which goes up will come down, will again go up. So there is a possibility that the NAV is 15. That the NAV is 15 per unit, unit, but the market price in stock market, in stock market is rupees 14 per unit. Very much a possibility. So in such situations, what will we say for this closed ended fund? What will we say? It is at a discount. It is at a discount. It is trading at a discount. Here it is trading at a discount here it is trading at premium are we clear everybody tell me are we clear everybody bolo bolo tell tell yes right perfect now if somebody tells me now if somebody tells me that i want to purchase the sk mutual fund the purchase price will be dependent on the market price in stock market market price in stock market whether it is it may be it may be at par also i'm not saying this will always be the scenario it may trade at par as well it can be any scenario because it is based on demand and demand and supply got it everybody are bolo bolo tell tell hey, whatever Yes? Huh. Yes? Okay. Now suppose, 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 let's take an example from somebody here. So say Mr. Z is there. There is Mr. Z. Who has come to, who wants to purchase, who wants to purchase SK mutual fund, who wants to purchase SK mutual fund. The NAV, 
say he wants to purchase it on 1st of January. The NAV is, and this mutual fund is a closed-ended mutual fund, a closed-ended. The NAV is rupees 10 and the market price is rupees 15. Tell me what will be his purchase price. Suppose if he is planning to purchase 1000 units, what will be his purchase price? Tell me everybody. Tell me what will be his purchase price. 1000 units he has to purchase and it is a closed ended fund. So can he purchase at NAV? NAV. So he will have to purchase at 15. So can I say his purchase price will be 15,000 yaar everybody yes or no? His purchase price will be 1000 units at the rate rupees 15 per unit 15,000 and 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 on 10th of January, he thought of selling it. He thought of selling it. When he went to sell the 1000 units, when he went to sell the 1000 units, he saw that the NAV in the market is 12 and the market price in the market price is rupees 14. Is rupees 14. Tell me what will be his selling price. Will he sell it NAV now? Now he will select. Yes, the market price. So at what will be his sales? It will be rupees 14,000. 1,000 units at the rate again. Market price which is 14 per unit. So NAV, so market price can be more than NAV. Can be less than NAV. It can be anything can be anything. Got it everyone? But whatever it is, in a closed ended fund, in a closed ended fund, the purchase and sales will always be at, again, in a closed ended fund, purchase and sales will be at market price on stock exchange. Hey, Samji Guru. Can you explain about the purchase price of close-ended fund? Yeah. Close-ended fund purchase price is the market price. Close-ended fund sale price is the market price on stock market. What do I explain, Dina? Tell me. Are you clear, Dina? So, in a closed-ended fund, purchase and sales will happen. At market price on stock exchange. Full stop. And then if you want to check whether the, uh, you know, the whole transaction is at a profit or a loss. That can also be done. So what is your sales value here? 14,000. That is your sales. What was your purchase? Can I say 15,000? So 15,000 was your purchase. Divide by. So selling price minus purchase divided by. What was the base? Base is always the purchase price. And that is 15,000. So 1,000 loss divided by 15,000. How much pro loss you are making? 1,000 divided by 15,000 into 100. You will be making a loss of 6.67%. Are we understanding, ladies and gentlemen? Yes or no? If yes, then let's start with a question. After that, I will give you a break. Don't worry. Let's start with a question. Question number six. Question number six is now what we are going to start with, with this base. And then you can take your ample time to write the example and then the question. Question number six, everybody, on your screen. Let's start on your screen. Mr. Vivek purchased a three-year closed end fund of Tata when the fund was launched at an opening offer price of 10 per unit. So what has Mr. V done? Always have the habit of writing a summary. Always have the habit of writing a summary. So there is Mr. V. What is Mr. V doing? What is Mr. V doing? He is purchasing a closed ended fund at offer. 
एट एन एफ ओ न्यू फंड ऑफ आर आईपीओ ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड एट टेन पर यूनिट सो मिस्टर वी परचेज म्यूचुअल फंड एट द रेट रुपीज टेन पर यूनिट ओके देन 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 since then the units got listed on stock exchange after a year the nav of the fund was 12.5 however the units of the fund were trading at a discount of 25% okay see now what has happened after nfo the units got listed on the stock exchange and nav of the uh, the usual exchange again after a year the nav of the fund was 12.5 and how how were the units were trading at a discount of 25% so when he went to sell the mutual fund what happened when he went to sell the mutual fund what happened the nav was 25 boss nav was 12.5 but 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 what was its price in the market what was the price in the market it was trading at a discount of 25% always remember whenever they are saying that there is a discount of 25% there is a premium of 10% it is always the base is always nav so the base is always nav so market price always calculated with respect to nav with respect to to net asset value so if net asset value is 25 and they are saying there is a discount of 25% at which it is trading oh sorry 12.5 and there is a discount of 25% at which it is trading so minus 25% minus 25% will give me the market price as 9.375 will give the market price at 9.375 are we understanding guys so i will have to sell it in the market at because it is a close ended fund this will be my selling price because it is a close ended fund but i purchased in nfo this was my purchase price and at the same time they have said that during a year a dividend of 5% was given ए डिविडेंड इज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन वॉट डिविडेंड इज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन वॉट यू हैव क्लियर योर इंटरमीजिएट सो यू नो दैट डिविडेंड इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन फेस वैल्यू वाई सो बिकॉज से बी सेड दैट सी इफ डिविडेंड वी वी हैव हर्ड सो मच सो मेनी टाइम्स नो डिविडेंड विप्रो डिक्लेयर्स अ डिविडेंड ऑफ रुपीज विप्रो डिक्लेयर्स अ डिविडेंड ऑफ रुपीज ऑफ टू हंड्रेड परसेंट है 500 rupees uh, 500 rupees fund uh, amount is there of invoice wipro share is in the stock market it is at 500 and they are saying 200% dividend so 1000 rupees dividend no dividend is always on face value so 10 rupees dividend 200% means 20 rupees dividend why because sebi says that every day the price of stock market on of the uh, shares changes every second so now it is impossible to track and calculate dividend on that basis so let's take a standardized figure standardized is face value so dividend always calculated on face value why for standardization for standardization so if rupees 10 is the dividend sorry 10 is the face value dividend is 5% and that is rupees 0.5 per unit got it right okay now 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 they have what they have they asked they have asked us to calculate what if vivek mr vivek sells the units in exchange he would have earned any return at all or not oh 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 so let's see how much return mr vivek has earned 
how much return Mr. Vivek has earned. So we will say Mr. Vivek has sold it at. See, number of units are not given. So let's assume it to be one. So Mr. Vivek has sold it at 9.375. Mr. Vivek has purchased it at 10.0. Mr. Vivek has purchased it at 10. Plus, 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 he has got some dividend. Hush, he has got some dividend. So, dividend is also like an income. So, sale is an income. Dividend 0.5 is an income. Purchased at 10. So, what will be the return? So the return will be return will be sale plus dividend less purchase cost. So what is the sale price? 9.375 plus 0.5 less 10 equal to and this is zero minus loss. Oh my god. 0.125 divide by see if it's a return absolute terms is this and if I want to calculate the percentage this will always be divided by the purchase price the base will always be purchase price which is rupees 10 so this will be how much this will work out to a loss of a negative return of 1.25 cent Hey, Clear everybody? Now you can have your dinner. Case? Clear everybody is clear? So if I just have to write down a formula, if I just have to write down a formula that in case of a closed ended fund, in case of a closed ended fund, what will be the return percentage if I have to write down? What will that be? Bolo bolo tell tell. The return percentage will be sale price plus dividend received less purchase price divide by purchase price Pacha. okay siddharth has a question sd siddharth sir in closed end fund will amc release the dividend on sale in secondary market yes yes perfect mega lakshmi b done Chau. now please copy this yes divided by a purchase price now what you will do, immediately write down the example, solve question 6, take a short test of the break and be right back. Okay.